Hey, I'm Nick Bloom, and I want to be an RA here at USF. So the first time I ever felt like a role model, I was 12 years old. So in fall of seventh grade, I started to get super sick. I had no energy, no appetite, and I was at the nurse's office like every week. So after talking to a doctor pretty extensively, I found out that I had Crohn's disease and I needed this surgery due to complications from the disease. And I was basically bedridden for a couple of weeks following the procedure. So while I was out from school, I started researching Crohn's in order to figure out what I was going through and learning more about how to cope with my diagnosis. So following surgery, I was doing well in school again, I was making good grades, and I was basically put on this medication that minimized my symptoms. But I still felt that there was more that I could be doing. So pretty soon I found out that there's this local walk in Tampa called Taking Steps for Crohn's that was held annually to raise money for Crohn's research. So I began talking to friends and family and building my own kind of support network, telling my story and eventually organizing my own team to walk for the event. And all in all, it was a huge success. I got over 20 people on my team and we pledged over $1,000 for research and to this day, it's been one of my greatest accomplishments in life. I served as an ambassador for Crohn's patients and I helped build awareness towards a disease that affected millions of people worldwide. Another one of my greatest accomplishments was collaborating with one of my closest friends to help with his radio show. When I met this person, I'm going to call him Jim, I was in the sixth grade. So the day before we met, my teacher had pulled me aside basically saying there was a student coming from France and that he was probably experiencing culture shock and he wanted me to basically uh, acclimate him to our school and American culture. So Jim told me that I was the first American he ever met and we soon began to talk about stuff that we had in common. Uh, we had mutual interests like sci-fi, uh, we liked filmmaking, we had a favorite director and soon he talked to me about how he actually lived in England before France and all of the TV shows that he used to watch when he was in England. So soon I began watching English TV shows on the BBC and we would Skype each other after episodes of our favorite show had aired. So we became fast friends and we remained friends through high school. And this summer he actually approached me and asked if I wanted to serve as a co-host for a radio show he was hosting for an internship at his college. So naturally I said yes and we talked about all the same shows and movies we did while we were in middle school. And more importantly, I think we talked about the different experiences and cultures that shaped ourselves growing up. So the radio show was this really fun experimental project that we had both undertook, and it was an amazing experience to help support my friend and build the show that explored and celebrated what made us all different. And that's it. All right. Thank you.